We've come along to Bradley Glen on a fairly decent evening here with Launch Skelly MHK. Um, we've got some pictures we're going to roll here of you up in the, the hills there and uh, in, the, in this sort of outback of the, the Glen with, with a fair amount of people there looking at a proposal to put in some skate facilities and, and things for the kids. It is, yeah, and it's all about uh, facilities for the children. We created a uh, group here, the three MHKs in Russian, called the Russian Youth Action Group. And the idea is was to get all the interest the parties together, that is the MHKs, the commissioners from the four areas here, Port Aaron, Port St Mary, Arbury and Russian, with parents and children to try and find something they wanted. And we discovered that uh, top of their list was a BMX track and a skate park. And uh, we've identified a site here at Bradder, which is what we're, we're exploring right now. It's not rocket science, they're bound to want that. What else, unless there's a temping bowling site you're going to come up with, that is well, going to be on kids' lists because it's, it's what they want. It, it is. Uh, it's not rocket science, but we do not have a BMX track right here in Russian. It seems that uh, most parts yeah. of the island do, and we don't have one here. So what we need to do is to find an appropriate site that's not too uh, far away, that they can all have access. And there's a car park right here, there's a cafe right here. Uh, it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of things uh, that tick the boxes. And we've also uh, got here the minister from uh, from Deaf, yeah. Phil Gorn, our own uh, MHK, so we, we think it's a viable option. I mean, there weren't a lot of kids and parents there. I mean, and you, overall, when you set this thing up, it was the parents that were there and the, and the adults. Can you actually engage with children on this? I mean, because you want their support, don't you? Absolutely, we need their support. There was, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 of them there. Uh, but I will tell you that we've had numerous uh, contacts through our Facebook page. We've had letters written to us. We've had uh, uh, children phone us up and parents. Uh, so, and people offering to help in all kinds of shapes and sizes. OK, well, we've got a few words with uh, some mums and also the, the children up there. This is what they said about the idea of having the skate park. It'd be good and, like, fun and we'd be able to help a lot. So, yeah. Uh, I think it's good because um, it'll, like, um, attract more people to, like, come over and, like, play on it and stuff. I think it'd be a great idea for the kids. There's something for them to do and save all the get trips into Douglas Xbox. and Ramsey. Yes, get them off the Xbox. <laughs> I think this is going to be a great idea because it could, like, do, make... <laughs> something for us in Port Aaron to do. I reckon that'll be good so we can learn new tricks and hopefully become professionals and win the X Games or something like that. <laughs> so that's what they said on the record. I've got to tell you, with them behind us here now, and we're waiting for you to come down for the interview, they all said it won't happen though. It's nice, but it's not going to happen. Well, I mean, that's the challenge for us, really, and that's why, once more, it's an action group. And, and that's the great thing about it. When you engage with, with the young people, they want action. They don't want words. They want action. So the pressure is on us, and uh, we're, we're going to actually take this to the next stage where we're going to have a public meeting with the commissioners to see if we can actually really get the, uh, we can get the numbers. We're going to start a petition and actually grow the pe Facebook. I don't want to rain on your parade, but there'll be a, probably a petition from the residents saying we don't want it here, thank you very much. Uh, undoubtedly, there's bound to be opposition somewhere. The, it is zoned for recreation, and uh, you, we, I think the young people have already spoken here, so it's up to us to try and find a solution if possible. If we can't make it happen at this site, we will, we will endeavour to try and find another suitable location. But we will actually keep this going and fi find something for them.